In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Then God separated the water and the sky. He formed the seas and the land. Then, he covered the land with trees and plants. Then, he filled the world with all the creatures of the sea. of the air. And all the creatures of the ground. And then he made us. stones to throw at him. Jesus hid himself and left the temple. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. Teacher, whose sin caused him to be born blind? Was it his own or his parents' sin? His blindness has nothing to do with his sins or his parents' sins. He is blind so that God's power might be seen at work in him. As long as it is they, he must keep on doing the work of him who sent me. Night is coming. And no one can work. <laughs> While I am in the world, I am the light for the world. 
After he said this, Jesus spat on the ground and made some mud with the spittle. He rubbed the mud on the man's eyes. Go and wash your face in the pool of Siloam. This name means scent. So the man went, washed his face, and came back, seeing. His neighbors then, and the people who had seen him begging before this, asked, isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? He is the one. No, he isn't. He just looks like him. I am the man. How is it that you can now see? The man called Jesus made some mud, rubbed it on my eyes, and told me to go to Siloam and wash my face. So I went, and as soon as I washed, I could see. Where is he? I don't know. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon, down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There, some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk. And they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, Emphata, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened. His tongue was loosened and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone. But the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. It was late that Sunday evening, and the disciples were gathered together behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities. Then Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you. After saying this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy at seeing the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them. receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive people's sins, they are forgiven. 
if you do not forgive them. They are not forgiven. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper, who will stay with you forever. He is the spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him, because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him, because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more. But you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. My Father will love those who love me. I too will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, Lord, how can it be that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Those who love me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and my Father and I will come to them and live with them. Those who do not love me do not obey my teaching. And the teaching you have heard is not mine, but comes from the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still with you. The help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am leaving, but I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for he is greater than I. I have told you this now, before it all happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I cannot talk with you much longer, because the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that is why I do everything as he commands me. Come, let us go from this place. I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united to me, and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like a branch and dry up. Such branches are gathered up thrown into the fire, where they are burned.